My name is Andre van Roy and I'm working with ICRISAT in uh, Zimbabwe in Bulawayo. Uh, we focus a lot of our work on crop livestock interactions and, and to try and facilitate greater use of technologies uh, with small scale farmers. Uh, the approach we're using is, is that of innovation platforms or innovation systems where our working hypothesis is that farmers will only invest in, in increased or improved technologies uh, when they become part and parcel of an effective and efficient marketing system. So the, the idea behind it is to develop the markets and through that create the pool for increased investments. So through the innovation platforms we bring in the value chain players, uh, let them or allow them to express their the challenges and the opportunities that they bring to the system and through that channel articulate the points of interventions which farmers then may adopt. We found that quite often because this information comes from more credible resources, if the abattoir owner tells you you will pay more for livestock, it's got a much stronger message than a scientist telling them that. So we're using, uh, by developing the markets, uh, the, the markets as a pool for, for increased technology uh, investment or, or greater investment in, in, in farming strategies. And we've had a number of successes in, in, in that in Namibia, Zimbabwe uh, and Mozambique. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult process. Uh, it takes a, a lot of time and investment from, from the researchers' point of view, from the, from the project's point of view, to get people together. Uh, but in the long term, it's got some really good spin-offs. Uh, First of all, we, we, using this process, we can identify the real challenges, not our challenges as, as, as scientists, but what the farmers are really struggling with and what the value chain are struggling with. Again, the only people that really put money into the system is the consumer. And what we're trying to do using the value chain approach is to reduce the transaction costs so that more money can flow from the consumer to the farmer. But the farmer needs to come to the party in, in producing the, the quality and the numbers that the consumer want. So using this sort of innovation approach, uh, we enter in an iterative process of, of changing, adapting, adopting methodologies, technologies, testing market systems uh, to try and increase the overall efficiency of the production to market process. It sounds like a very different type of research than and you can sometimes come across in CG centers. Yeah, it's, it's not your run of the mill science. Uh, but yes, uh, personally, I think this is the types of stuff that, that we, we should engage in more and more often uh, because there are some brilliant technologies and strategies available. But to put it within the context of the farmer, where it makes sense to the farmer, is often the, the great challenge. And I see huge scope for the CG to get involved in these sort of issues, is how do we get real technology to farmers? How do we put it in the context of the farmer so the farmer can see the real benefits and experience those benefits? And I think these innovation systems, which we're beginning to grapple with, provide us that opportunity or that platform to introduce these types of technologies.